What's up you guys? What's good? What's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a shred video. It's been a minute since I've done like a sit down one on one like personal chit chat with you guys and I'm excited about this video because we're going to do a full weight loss Q&A. If you are already a subscriber or even following along my shred um, fitness series, I'm on week five now of my cut and I've made so much progress and I'm feeling absolutely incredible and I've said before but this is something I'm definitely going to be sticking out like full term. I've tried doing other cuts on my channel and completely like bailed out. Um, I wasn't like in the right place mentally, I think to actually finish out that goal. And right now I truly feel that I am and I have just been in the best mood. So many of you have noticed on Instagram or Snapchat that I've been so much happier and just in a really good physical and mental place. And I'm just excited to share this with you guys and everything kind of that I've learned and like things that I've like broken through mentally. So I can also help you guys in any way possible. So I just wanted to thank you guys for being absolutely incredible and so encouraging to me. The comments I've been getting on previous videos and so Social media just that you guys can see a difference first of all in my weight loss in like my face and stuff and just also in my mood too makes me so happy to have an audience who's so supportive and I don't want that to ever go unnoticed so I wanted to say thank you again I actually want to include a little video clip right here from a video that I found about over two months ago and I, I was like scrolling through my old videos um, just like catching up on responding to tons of comments and stuff and I came across this one last night and I could not believe how chubby my face looked like in my cheeks and just my whole like demeanor. I remember filming that video just trying to like get through it but I don't think I was really you know very happy and obviously when I was a bit like heavier too I was, it's not just that I weighed more but that I was going through a lot mentally. I've talked before about having gone through depression and binge eating and stuff and I just remember that specific day just trying to get through filming because I was just in, in, not in a good mood and I think you could really tell in the video and then I was I also noticed a big difference in my face with the actual weight loss which made me so happy that I'm finally seeing progress um, but yeah a lot of you wanted a progress update so I'm on week five I'm a little over nine pounds down I wanted to lose 10 in the first month so we're super super close maybe by the time you guys watch this video I'll actually be down a full 10 pounds but yeah I'm feeling absolutely incredible um, I've gotten a lot of the same like repetitive weight loss questions so I'm gonna pull up some of your questions from snapchat in this video and we'll do a little weight loss Q&A um, but a lot of you also said keep the workout footage coming so first off let's shoot into all the footage I recorded probably like three days ago with my mom we went to the gym together in the morning and did a leg day so I want to include all of that footage because I want to make sure in every shred episode I'm giving you guys some type of workout footage I'll do a little voiceover to let you know what exercises I was doing and how many reps and why because another request from my previous videos was not to just let music play over the workout stuff you guys want to know like exactly what I'm doing and like how many sets and everything so we'll get into that and then I'll meet you guys right back here for the Q&A all right, guys, so this is going to be a lower body workout. I always do some static stretching, some foam rolling, and then like some walking lunges and stuff to get warm. But for my first working set, I went on the Smith machine. As you can see, I only have 10 pounds on each side. I actually haven't like squatted in a long time, so I'm slowly working the weight back up. I was just doing regular squats um, with regular stance, and then I did a few with a wide stance. I do three sets of 10 to 12, and if it seems a bit easy, I'm able to add on more weight on each side of the bar. Um, my mom was also working out with me today. You guys were so sweet and complimenting in the last video when I showed her, so I wanted to show her again. She's definitely making progress, and it's really cool to just have a family member who really supports you and your goals, and they're on that same journey. So she's been going with me. She's killing it. Um, for my second set on the Smith machine, I actually did weighted lunges, as you can see, and then I lifted up my knee every single time I came back up. Then I was just doing close stance squats, which is what you see right there, into side lunges as well. And I did put another five on each side of the bar as well, so I was doing a total of 30 pounds, and then they call the bar like a zero bar because it's attached to the Smith machine, but it's 40 pounds. So I was just doing as much as I could. I believe I was doing, instead of doing like 10 to 12 reps here, I was just doing one full set until failure. And let me tell you, my legs were absolutely on fire. Do not underestimate those. Even with very light weight, it's really hard. So here we are just doing some Romanian deadlifts. I was using 40 pounds. My mom was using 20 or 30. We we're doing 10 to 12 reps of deadlifts with a close stance. So our legs, our feet are actually pretty close together. You wanna stop right underneath your knee. You don't wanna actually extend all the way down to your toe. Um, just stop to where you feel that st stretch in your hamstring. Then we curled the bar up and we were doing front squats. So again, I was just using 40 pounds. We were doing about eight to 10 reps. We just filmed one set of everything. And again, this was something that doesn't look too hard, but that really, really burned. Like I was very sore the next day. I decided to move on to the reverse hack squat here. As you can see, I only had 10 pounds 
on each side and I don't know why but this was so tough I used to do these a while back with a little bit more weight but I'm telling you I couldn't even get my butt to the very bottom to do a really really low squat and get like major depth because it was so hard my quads were just burning for whatever reason this machine with really light weight is extremely tough for me so here I just moved on to glute kickbacks. Um, I went to a different gym today and they had this machine, but usually I'm not even able to use this anymore because the new gym I go to doesn't have it. So I just wanted to take advantage. I was doing like 10 reps on each leg and doing three sets of that. Nothing crazy. You guys have seen that before. Then here I wanted to try something I seen on Instagram with the leg curl machine where you push it back up into a glute kickback, but this was kind of a fail. This machine could only go so high. So I kicked up a little bit and then my range of motion just stopped because the like the bottom of the machine that you see my mom helping me with, it literally wouldn't extend any higher than that. So I definitely was not getting like full range of motion with those glute kickbacks and I ended up doing some other ones on the ab, um, like on the yoga mat on the floor. Then we just moved on to plank twists. I think we did like 20 reps three times and then we did some push-ups and we did some BOSU ball squats, which you could see on my Insta story, but I couldn't film it on my camera because the manager came over and told me to stop filming. So, oh, yep, and then I was dying here and that was it. All right, so I just wanted to answer some like frequently asked questions that I get on social media a lot regarding my own health and fitness and weight loss journey and a lot of like repetitive stuff I see you guys asking. So I screenshotted a bunch from Snapchat. Um, the first one was from Shayla87 underscore. She said, hey babe, congrats on your progress so far. Absolutely love watching your journey. My question is, are you still vegan during this cut? XO. Thanks, girl. So I've actually just been vegetarian for, I think, over a year. If you've been a subscriber for a while, I tried to go vegan twice, and I think I lasted like a few months each time. Um, I don't know. There's just certain things. I don't have too much dairy into my in my diet. Like, I always have almond milk. I can't even remember the last time I had, like, real milk. Um, and I, there is certain, like, vegan cheeses and vegan spreads that I've found that I really like, but I cannot say every single product that I have is strictly vegan. So I just classify myself as a vegetarian, so y'all don't come after me if I say, like, I'm vegan uh, but no being full vegan I commend you guys if you are it is hard to cut out every single product because sometimes there's little hints of things in certain ingredients or recipes you might not even know of um, so yeah, I realized real quick with the YouTube community to not classify myself as that. Um, but yeah, I haven't had meat actually for over a year and I do not see myself introducing it back into my diet or into Christians. So I got a lot of new Instagram followers recently who are very into health and fitness because I posted a transformation picture, um, I wanna say like last week, and I got a bunch of new followers which I'm super excited and appreciative for, so thank you guys. But I got a lot of questions from you on exactly how I'm losing weight. So if you've been following my cut, you already know that I'm counting macros. But if you're new, that is the approach I'm taking. I'm still working with my coach Leah from LK Fit. Um, I've been with her now, I think I want to say over a year now, which is crazy. I know a ton of my subscribers have actually signed up with her from my recommendation and you're now like in the Facebook group with me. And I just have to say it is so cool seeing you guys hit your goals and like being on that journey with you and being in that community with you. I get so many questions from you guys on how you can calculate your own macros for weight loss or for muscle gain. And I'm always just super upfront with you. I am not certified. I do not have like my NASM certification or anything. I would love to in the future, but I always, always recommend anyone who asks me any type of like macro question, or if you're just on a fitness or healthy lifestyle journey in general, I always refer you to Leah. And I know I've mentioned her so many times and none of my videos from her are ever like sponsored or anything. She's just truly another like female entrepreneur, boss babe, who is kicking ass in her business, who is so genuine. Like I've never seen someone so invested in their clients' results. Like in the Facebook group, she answers every single question. She has just been honestly such a blessing for me in truly helping. Like I talked in my last video a lot about breaking through like the mindset barriers about truly losing weight and getting healthier from a place of love rather than looking in the mirror and hating what you see and wanting to make a change based off of you hating yourself because that will never last. She's truly helped me to love the person I am right now at this weight and still want to get healthier and still want to have more goals and like it's totally fine to want to change your physical body I just personally love her I know I've recommended her a bunch if you're on a weight loss journey instead of you just googling like what are my weight loss macros I highly recommend that you hire someone like her even just for the first few months to get fully customized macros I truly believe in flexible dieting with her program you're able to eat like I ate the other day like chocolate and peanut butter protein French toast I posted on my Instagram story it was incredible I fit in like a rice crispy bar I put some goldfish in my salad it's really cool because with if it fits your macros you can literally fit in anything that 
that you like. It's not just like a bland meal plan, which is really, really cool. Um, and I was attracted to working with her at the beginning because she's a real woman who's lost over 40 pounds herself. And I really, really have always loved following other people who have similar body types to me and who have actually lost the amount of weight that I want to lose. Um, like I've always said, I follow tons of other like fitness people on Instagram who've been thin their whole life or muscular and they look amazing and their message might be super positive and I still follow them. But I think it's a lot more relatable for me personally to have a coach on someone who's done what I want to do and has literally walked those same steps, you know? Um, and I just got messages from tons of my subscribers who have signed up with Leah and you've been super happy and not to mention she's extremely affordable. She honestly like does not charge enough. She's so sweet and she wants her services to be available to everyone no matter what budget you're on. So her plans are super, super low. Um, she's just incredible. She's such a hard worker. She this past month following her exact macro plan for me has is what's gotten me to lose probably like I think like 9.4 pounds I'm at I'm super excited to hit the 10 pound mark um, but yeah she's been incredible for me I always have her information listed in the description box with a little discount for you guys if you are interested I'm seeing a bunch of questions about what scale I'm using to measure my progress I mentioned it in like two other shred episodes I believe it's from vanity planet I can link it below as well I'll have a bunch of stuff a bunch of like health and workout stuff linked down there today um, but I had a code for like 60 ish percent off it's still active it still works um, it's just a really awesome scale for at home if you can't go get like a DEXA scan or like a full body scan it actually tells you your body fat muscle density um, bone mass water weight everything like that I'm forgetting the name of it off the top of my head but I'll link it down there for you guys it's what I've used to actually track like my exact progress also a lot of you guys are asking for more meal prep videos that's totally fine with me actually um, if you're new I've got a whole playlist on my channel I believe it's just called like workout or health and fitness or meal prep or whatever. Um, but I've made probably over 30 meal prep videos within the past like year or two. So I can link those down below if you're new, catch up on those ones as well. They're all super budget friendly and for weight loss. Um, but I'm definitely a creature of habit and I've been on YouTube for so long. I'm very aware, like I see the comments sometimes that I keep making the same meals just because I don't get tired of eating the same thing. Um, but having you guys you guys wanting me to like have a variety in my recipes it has really got me inspired. So I've actually been on Pinterest lately looking up new like vegan and vegetarian meal prep recipes. So if that's something you guys want, I can definitely put out probably like one meal prep video a week because with this shred series, I'm trying to put at least one or two like fitness videos out a week anyways. Someone asked if I'm still interested in doing a bikini competition. Um, I don't know why I always feel a little nervous like saying this, but I'm very about like tell everyone your goals so they can keep you accountable and so it can keep me accountable. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know why it makes me nervous to say. I mean, I would love to do one. That's always been one of my goals. I've just never been lean enough. I've never stuck out a real cut or a real fat loss phase to get my body in the in the right amount of shape to where my body fat is low enough to start a prep. Um, but yeah, I would love to. I just, I've always thought that was an absolutely incredible goal. And I'm very aware, like some people commented in a video a long time ago that they thought it would mess with me mentally and that I need to be aware that I can't stay that lean. I'm super aware of that. For me, it would just be like, someone who has been 50 plus pounds overweight to have leaned down enough to even accomplish that one time would be such an accomplishment for me. Um, and yeah, I just think it'd be really cool to have that goal. I'm super aware, like no female should ever be like living on a day-to-day -day basis being that lean. Um, but I think it would really push me in my weight loss journey as well. And then, you know, after gaining some weight after a show to be able to stay somewhat lean and just like at a healthy body fat percentage for me, I think would be super motivating. And I would love to make other girls, love to make other girls, make other friends, other girlfriends, like in the fitness industry and stuff. Um, and yeah, I already know a bunch of people actually who have competed after meeting a lot of people through social media. People's opinions are always very different on what their experience was, but I do know a lot of competitors who just absolutely love it and they're able to maintain a healthy mental and physical like body image. Um, so yeah, if I'm just being super honest, I would absolutely love to do a show one day when, I'm not gonna say if, I'm gonna be positive and say when, I am able to get my body that lean and I truly feel like it's the right time, I would 100% be willing to start a prep. So the next comment, it's not a question, it just says, hey girl, I always see Christian working out on your Snapchat, just wanted to let you know he is the absolute cutest. <sighs> Thank you so much. It's so funny because before we go to bed lately, I've been making it like I've promised myself that I'm gonna do some type of ab work before bed every night. So I'll be like doing crunches in my bed or like V-ups or something and Christian is so cute. I don't know what's gotten into him but he is obsessed with working out. 
he's obsessed with like taking off his shirt and turning around in the mirror and flexing and being like, mom, look at my back muscles. And if you do follow me on Snap or Instagram, I'll post him sometimes. He'll be doing like burpees randomly, like in the kitchen. He can actually do real push-ups as well, like four or five real push-ups and he's only five, like it's insane. And then in the bathroom where we hang up the towels, he was in there the other day. I thought he was going pee. I went in there and he was on that bar, literally trying to do like real pull-ups. Like he is like obsessed with working out, even though he's so young. Um, I don't know. It's crazy. Like, obviously I don't like make him work out or give him any weights or want him to ever like injure himself or anything, but it's just so cute. I think he's just trying to follow along what I do and he wants to copy me. And I just think it's adorable. All right. So I think that's going to do it guys. I've been recording for like 22 minutes. So this video is long enough. I hope you guys enjoyed. I wanted to, again, just say thank you for following along my journey and my progress and all of the incredible, super positive comments. Like I feel like my audience lately has been nothing but so complimenting, so kind, so kind back to each other. Like those of you who actually converse in the comments, not even talking about me. Some of you, someone will like jump on someone else's comment and start like a comment thread. And you guys are just so incredibly positive. And I feel like my comments, comment section in my channel has become such a community and again I know I say it in a lot of videos and it gets rambly but I just have to say thank you I'm appreciative for that I never take that for granted I know so many of you out there are also on your own health and fitness journey and I just want to remind you to keep going consistency is what's key I've been trying to lean down or like lose weight whatever you want to call it literally for like 12 years I've struggled with my weight since I was in middle school it's really sad to say but looking back I had so many times where I tried to diet and didn't do it the right way and was so effed up mentally and I just want to let you guys know that I'm in such an incredible positive place right now I'm telling you having my coach Leah has been huge for me like helped like miles and bounds or leaps and bounds whatever the hell that saying is um and yeah, just doing a lot of like personal development work. And even though it sounds corny, like truly learning to love myself and the body that I'm in while we're still working towards the body that I want. So I just want to inspire and motivate you guys to keep going. Do not quit. Even if you are in a state of struggle right now, I guarantee on the other side, if you stay consistent and you put in the work and you're willing to work on the deeper issues that you may be covering up by overeating or binge eating, you will get there. Consistency is the key. I know because I currently just feel amazing and what I'm doing is working. So I'm kind of, I feel like I'm coming out on the other side of it and I can just let you guys know that. And I'm here with you. I'm going to the gym every day. I'm counting, you know, my macros and my calories and just being as consistent as possible. So if you're out there grinding, just know that I'm literally on this journey with you guys. I appreciate you being here and always checking in to see like about my progress. It really, really means a lot to me. So I would love if you would give this video a like for me. It helps out so much with my channel. Be sure to subscribe if you were new here. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I do post my workouts and what I eat in a day. So the days that I'm not posting on YouTube, I am on my Instagram story. So I'd love to have you over there. Love you guys so much. And I will see you in my next video.